Now, while I'm editing this review, my channel just hit 500 subscribers and I'm really thankful to every one of you that subscribed, mainly because of the Black Angel video, but big thanks, hope you stay here longer and like the content that I do. Sorry for wasting your time, let's get to the review. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome onto the Pistec channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the GTX 1080 Strix from ASUS. Let's get started with the review. So what we've got here today is the ASUS ROG GTX 1080 Strix Advanced. And Advanced in fact has a slightly lower clock speed than the typical Strix, but after overclocking it we get the same results as a typical one because we have the same cooling solution on both of these cards and the same GPU core on both of these cards. It makes no sense paying 50 or 70 bucks more just to get the one with the higher clock speeds on stock instead of buying this one and overclocking it a bit, getting the same results with the same temps, etc. So that's why we've got the GTX 1080 Advanced, just because it's a better option in terms of price to performance. Firstly, let's go through the specs of this card. In the OC mode, which is highest processed by ASUS, it offers up to 1835 MHz boost clock with base clock of 1695. In the gaming mode, which is set by default when you receive the cards, you get up to 1809 MHz boost with 1617 MHz base. And to change these profiles, it's only one click in ASUS GPU tweak to software, which we'll talk about in the later part of this video. The card offers 8GB of GDDR5X memory at 10,010 MHz, as well as 2560 CUDA cores which is typical for GTX 1080 core. To just up the card like this, you'll need 8-pin and 6-pin power connectors from your PSU, which is atypical for bigger GTX 1080s when we've got a cooling solutions other than reference, which consumes some power as well, and of course higher clock speeds and all that stuff, so 8-pin and 6-pin is needed to power up this card. What's worth noting, card's length is about 30 cm, so keep that in mind, cause it may not fit in all of the cases. What about the interfaces on this GPU? We've got here one DVI-D output, two DisplayPort outputs and two HDMI to zero outputs. And you'd ask why there are two HDMIs instead of three DisplayPorts and one HDMI. Well, ASUS thought that it would be good because some people that use VR headsets may want to plug their display as well for the HDMI, so they will make it easier for them. So, for example, you can plug in your VR headset onto the one port and your monitor onto the another port, instead of using a display port which your monitor may not have. So, on one hand, it's clever solution, which will make life easier for some people, but on the other hand, display ports offer us overall better quality of the image, etc. And you are losing a bit of it when using a triple monitor setup or something like that when you have to connect one of your displays for the HDMI or DVI. So okay, that's enough of this specs sheet. Now let's go and take a look at the card performance as well as a lighting and the software then. Benchmark. So we are after the benchmarks now and all the benchmarks you've seen were on the maxed out settings in all the games possible. Uh, with all anti-aliasing options, MSAA, FXAA, HBO and all the stuff, everything was just maxed out because it's GTX 1080. Uh, unfortunately I were only able to do the test in 1080p because I don't have a WQHD or 4K monitor yet but I will definitely get one soon to improve my reviews of GPUs. 
but now it's not here yet so I'm just not able to show you 4K and WQHD, I will do it soon. Let's get to the card temps right now after the benchmark, so that's also a quite important thing and how loud or silent it is. So in OC mode by ASUS we've got 66 degrees Celsius with 47% fan speed and in silent mode by ASUS we've got 67 degrees Celsius with 45% fan speed and we've got slightly lower clock speeds on this silent like minus 30 megahertz so I don't know and I don't think is it really worth to get like this 2% of fan speed and one degree more just for losing 50 megahertz and I will definitely go with OC mode here and with a custom overclocking but without changing any fan curves in ASUS software they are all default I got to 69 degrees Celsius with 50% of fan speed. And on all of these presets, uh, the sound level generated by the GPU was quite the same because like it's only 5% difference and it's really no difference. Uh, unfortunately I haven't got my sound meter yet so I can't tell you I like decibel results. Um, I'm just starting this channel and you know, I haven't got that much equipment yet, but I will definitely get this soon if channel goes well. And yeah, that's what's about the sound and attempts. Now let's get to the ASUS GPU Tweak 2 and Aura RGB lighting on this card. Getting onto first screen of the software, we can see VRAM user GPU speed in percents as well as GPU temperature. Uh, on top of that we've got free mode from ASUS to choose as well as your custom profile option. OC mode and gaming mode are the modes that I mentioned before and silent one is basically the one which keeps the cards as silent as possible. On the left of that we've got also a triangle which shows the balance between coolness, silence and performance. And on the right of these profiles we've got 0 dB fans off and on function, which means when it's on that card doesn't turn on fans before it reaches target temperature of 60 deg Celsius degrees. And then when usage is low it uses only the one middle fan, and if the usage is high it uses the free fans which is all it has. Also on down of that we've got the gaming booster which allows you to boost your visual effects, system services and memory defragmentation to get most out of your games. Getting onto the professional mode we can set all the stuff that's here and save it to the custom profiles. We've got a GPU boost clock here, GPU voltage in percentage, memory clock, fan speed, power target, temp target as well as frame rate tar target and we can set all of them manually and s save it onto the custom profiles. Moving on to the second tab you've got all the VGA info here which is just a GPU Z inside this GPU tweak software and on the right side you have light update status which means just do have to update your software or not. And the third bar is tools which you can get your Xpeed Gamecaster for free as well as the Aura graphics card lighting. Here you've got some settings like just startup, monitor startup, overclocking stuff and live update, just some basic stuff. And on this left down corner you can open up the monitor which allows you to see like more info about the card in the real time, just something like MSI Afterburner but for ASUS. Ok, so now let's move on to the Aura RGB lighting. First option in the software is just static colors, which gives you the look which stays consistent through all of the time and looks something like this, it's just easy to change. The thing I don't like here is how the card reproduces white, because on the top logo the white is really white and on this logo on the side of the card and um, down where the fans are, 
it's really not. You can as well adjust the brightness of the color you want on the GPU. So it can be darker or brighter depending on your pr preferences. The second mode is breathing, which makes card like is breathing. <laughs> And it's like quite slow breathing and on the next option I will show you that it can be actually much faster. Um, but that's how it looks it breathing. Let's go quickly through all of the colors available in the GPUs. I mean these basic ones because you've got RGB so you can create much more combos. But that's basically how it looks. Now let's go to strobing, which is like on off. It's much faster and it's not as smooth as the breathing, but looks cool in its own way. The last one here from this light effects is a color cycle, which goes through all the RGB basic available colors. As you can see, like, is this kind of rainbowish effect <laughs> going on here. We've got as well special effects, and we've got here a GPU temperature. So if the temperature is low, the card keeps lighting green, and if it gets high, like yellow and red, then. Another cool effect on this GPU is music one. So now we are playing some cool dubstep, and you can see how it goes. Considering all that stuff, the price point of 640 bucks, that card is a beast. It easily gets to the level of GTX 1080 Strix, which is not advanced but performs better, like a small mindfuck, but anyways. And even the cards on the higher level like MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X, which is around 720 bucks, and like 680 FVGA FTW Freezer ACX. So, you know, mm, so in price point of 640 bucks, you get a really, really good performance, which is on level of like much more expensive cards. You, uh, you get a good cooling, which is so silent. I mean, the fans don't even go higher than 50% most of the time. And you get some pretty cool lighting on the card as well. I mean with some minor stuff like the white isn't reproduced correctly, but overall it looks pretty sweet. It looks like a beast, I mean it's like 30 centimeters and has 3 fans. <laughs> Nothing more to say. Uh, so yeah, at this price point is the best card you can buy I think. I mean. Maybe it's not the best price to performance card on the market. I think you can get something cheaper which performs good as well, but it may be louder. So anyways, this GTX 1080 is a pretty solid and good choice at price point of around 650 bucks. So when you're looking for a GPU in this pre in with, with this money, just take this advanced GTX 1080. Well, thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, so I will know that you like this content and you want more. Don't forget to leave comments as well if you have some questions about the GPU, about anything else, or just some suggestions for me, drop the comments, I will definitely read all of them. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to don't miss it when I upload. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this review, see you in the next one, bye!